Hello, welcome to this video, the last video for 1-2, so 1-2b, and in this um, video, we're going to specifically talk about graphing adjustments, um, and this kind of stems from your, your parent graphs or your, your parent functions, and these are some things that you're just going to have to be familiar with and memorize, um, and if you, if you look through these, right, a lot of these you should um, be familiar with, okay, maybe some aren't as as familiar to you but this is something that you want to you want to spend some time right and you want to to memorize them or be able to to recognize them um, throughout this course okay so with these graphs with graphing adjustments we're going to take these parent function graphs and we can adjust them or transform them and you've done this in in math one math two and math three um, frequently right with your your different values you have a an a an h right a, a k and then you have a, a a b value right or a, a one over b value that that's present okay all right so um remember that um we can see these here so here if we have a a negative out front, right? That's this causes x-axis reflection. A negative um, on the inside would cause reflection across the the y-axis. Um, if we add stuff, right, that's going to shift us up, down, left, right, and um, then we have down here the the absolute values, absolute values. And you guys know, right, that absolute values um, just take values and make them make them positive, okay, and that's going to do a couple of different things if, um, depending upon where that absolute value is. So maybe at this point you want to pause the video, you just want to read through these terms. Um, I'll talk about kind of visually what they do on the next page um, and show you kind of how these are applied, but these are also things that you, you want to memorize and be familiar with. Okay, so for these examples, 17 through 21, we have a graph y equals f of x, shown right here, okay, and we're asked to, to transform the graphs. So what I'll do, I'm going to make this bigger, and um, we're going to go ahead and transform these graphs. So at number 17, we have y equals f of x plus 2, and this is an, an h value, right, that is negative 2, and what this causes is just a, a shift left, two units, okay? So all my values here, this point, this intercept, this point, uh, this point, this point, right, and even this one here, we're just going to shift everything to the left two units, okay? So my first point, negative 2, 2. Uh, I'm going to go over 1, 2, and up 2. So I have a graph that looks like this. Okay, so da, 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 and here is our graph, okay? And that's shifting left 2 units. For number 18, we have two things going on. The first thing that we have going on is... A, a negative outside. Your a value is a negative one, okay? And what this causes is x-axis reflection. Okay, so uh, all my all my values above are gonna are gonna go down to the bottom, and then all my values below are gonna go up to the top. Okay, that's that's the first kind of um, transformation that's that's taking place. So the first point reflection would look like this. Okay, so there's our x-axis reflection. The second thing that we have to do is we have a, a k value, right, of, of 2, and that's going to take us, um, it's going to shift us up 2. Okay, so all my points here, I'm going to go up 2 units. Okay, this point goes up 2. There's that piece. And then over here, this is going to go up two units. Okay, and there is our graph. Okay, and generally too, when you're when you're asked to graph to sketch the following, you want to get rid of your your old work here. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do? Let's keep that there, just just for notes. 
okay? Um, let's move on to, to 19. So 19 is y equals 1 half f of negative x. And um, in this case, what we have, I'll go here, is we have a, a 1 over b value, right, that is negative 1. So what this does is this is going to cause horizontal, horizontal reflection. Horizontal reflection or reflection across the the y-axis. Okay, and um, secondary, what we have is we have an a value that is one half, right? And that is vertical compression by a factor of, of two. So um, how do I know which one to apply first, which one to apply second? Well, you want to work inside outwards, right? Or remember your, your order of operations. Good old PEMDAS, okay? And that's a D, I promise. PEMDAS. So um, I'm going to take my, my graph. I'm going to go up here, okay? And all of my points are, are going to reflect. So I'm going to take this side, right? It reflects over the y-axis. Okay, and then I have my other points, okay, on the, the right side, those are going to flip over, so there we go, okay. Um, next, what's going to happen, right, all of these points are, are vertically going to compress by a uh, factor of one half, right, or just divide these points by, by two, okay, so um, here, this point's at negative one, it's going to come down to, uh, sorry, negative one, it's going to be negative one half. Um, this point here is at 2, it's going to come down to 1, 0 is going to stay as 0, right? 0 divided by 2, 0, and here this point's going to come down to 1 half, okay? So what we get is this, okay? And there is our, our graph. For number 20, we have two things going on here. We have an absolute value of f of 2 of x, okay? So the first thing um, that we're going to do here is, remember, inside out, right? So inside the parentheses, we have a 1 over b value. That is 2, which implies that our b is 1 half, okay? So that's going to cause all of our x values to compress by a factor of 1 half, so horizontal uh, compression. Okay, so I'll write here horizontal compression and we'll do that we'll do that first and then we'll take care of the absolute values okay so uh, let me get my my original graph up here okay so um, this point right is originally at at negative two so that's going to come into to negative one okay um, my intercept was at negative one, so it'll be at negative one half. And then my x value here was at zero, so zero divided by two again is zero. Okay, and this point, our end point here is at negative three, so it'll be negative 1.5. Okay, and there's our graph. Okay, so that is again with the the horizontal compression. Now we also have we also have our absolute value signs, okay? And if we go back up here to the absolute value of f of x, uh, what this says is we'll reflect all points below the x-axis across the x-axis, okay? So, and again, this is taking our, uh, our negative values, okay, and just making them positive, okay? So for our graph here, I hope this clears up, okay? So this point's going to stay exactly as is. It's above, okay? And then I'm going to come down here. And when I hit my intercept, it's just going to reflect up, okay? And there is your graph, okay? That is, again, um, the absolute values that causes um, all your negative y values to become positive. Okay, so I'll write that here. So negative y's become 
positive. All right, um, and then let's look at like another application of an absolute value sign. And this one is, is different. It's on the inside with our x. So all of our uh, x values, if they're negative, they're going to become positive. And this is kind of a, a unique and different case, something that we might not have looked at much. Uh, but what it says here, it says eliminate completely all the points to the left. So everything to the left, all the negatives, completely gone. We leave the points to the right of the axis alone, but it's not like all of our, our negative domain values don't exist. They exist, but what happens, they become positive. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the left half uh, with the section of the right half. So we get a, a horizontal reflection, essentially. And uh, note it says here, your graph should show y-axis symmetry, okay? And, and that makes sense. So again, uh, with the absolute value sign, I'm going to eliminate everything to the left. Okay, so um, all of of this here is going to be it's going to be gone. Okay, so I'll keep everything to the right. So I have a point here, 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 here. Okay, so everything to the left is gone. And then what I want to do is I want to reflect this. So we're going to end up getting. A straight line on on this side okay and there is our graph all right so this video covered um, graphing adjustments if I if I go up here so of our, our parent graphs again remember spend some time memorizing these being able to visually identify them uh, and we talked about what the different transformations are um, and did some practical application